How's my yet? Hey, hey. That's it, but hey, did you Okay. Uh, so, Unjuete, or strike it like I am when I'm on your side, you don't go to Sangayo. No, nah, eh, that's the entry, ne? That's the entry. Look out, look out. Yeah, look out. Okay, enter and exit. Okay, let's say let's say we're looking at Nasdaq, ne? So with, with Nasdaq, like we know we have our is on a downtrend. So this is where it's playing. Sure. So we can see we're in a in a downtrend. So let's go on for our on for our so we can see on for our we had another we had an uptrend inside our downtrend this was the uptrend so what we're gonna do ne? we okay we wait for price to come to our We wait for price to come to our support. This is our support. This is our support zone. This is our support zone. So when price is at our support, we look for reversal pattern. We look for reversal pattern. If you can check here, we had an inverse head and shoulder. Do you know the head and shoulder pattern? You sure? So yeah, this, was, this was the left shoulder. Let me use this. You see the inverse head and shoulder. So if we wanted to make an entry, we say, okay, we wait for a price to come to our support zone. So when price is at our support, we're going to wait for candlestick confirmation. If you can see, we had a, a rejection here of, of, on support. So this is was, but this was gonna be a low probability entry because it's only two confirmation prices at support and we have a, a confirmation. So with head and shoulder, we are gonna do this. When price come to our right shoulder, that's when we make a entry. You understand? Because this is a head and shoulder. So another confirmation is because so, this is was a low and price make a, a higher low. When it makes a higher high, a, a lower high, that's when we make a entry because already if it is an is a if it is a start push that price is going on a uptrend. So we're gonna make an mm. entry on the right shoulder. You understand? And when we take make an entry, we're gonna target. What we use a uh, pattern for the projection so we take a trend line from our head to the neckline and we say this is our overall target so our target should be the same from the head to our neckline here we're the a neckline this was the neckline 
This was the neckline. So with with head and shoulder, they normally advise that you enter at the break of the neckline. But I prefer to enter at the right shoulder. So if I enter at the right shoulder, like my my re, my rewards, they are more, they become more. So if I enter here at the right shoulder, then I will target at least to this level. If you can check, you can see this pattern I projected is the same way the market reversed. Check where market did reverse. It's the same. Yeah. Check where market did reverse. And your stop loss was going to just below, going to be below the the support. So you make your entry depending on which pattern you see on support. So we can see here we're in a support and we saw a, a inverse head and shoulder. So we, when we see an inverse head and shoulder, is a reversal pattern. So we make an entry because we have an inverse head and shoulder. But that inverse head and shoulder must happen on a support. If it happened in the middle of nowhere, it's likely not to play out. You understand? That's the first entry. So we want support. Price must touch support. So let's look on how Nasdaq is been moving. Because remember, there's no perfect entry. There's no good entry. Even entry that has all the confirmation can turn out to be a bad trade. You understand? So whenever you make sure. it, whenever you take a trade, make sure at least you are risking what one percent to gain three percent. You understand? Because sometimes we take trades that only give us one so, percent. So. But if you say, okay, I see an entry and it's giving me three percent, you can take that entry. But as long as you have confirmations. So we had a confirmation for this one. It was an inverse head and shoulder. So we, that's why we took an entry. If you can check on this one, we had a, a double bottom. We had a double bottom. We had a, a double bottom. You can see from here, and it broke out. It came back to retest. So remember, when my get moves, is a, okay, let me move this. So the first entry, it was our inverse head and shoulder at support. We don't just take it when it's there, when it's in middle. It needs to be at our support. So if we can check when market moves, it gives an impulse and a correction. So after correction, what do we expect? We expect a, a continuation. Do you follow? Continuation or reversal? Yeah. No. After yeah. a correction, we expect a, a continuation. And if you can check this continuation, check where it, where it went. It went back to our to our support. Remember, we did put this as our support. Yeah, yeah. You can see the correction. It came back to our support. So when it gets here, it, it was supported to go up. So when you are, when you are at support, you say, okay, price is, is at support. So what price is doing at support? And this one is a is a confluence zone. Why I'm saying it's a confluence zone? We have a supporting trend line that is going up. We have this supporting trend line. We have this supporting trend line. And we had that's the first confirmation prices at our supporting trend line. So you're building your evidence. We have a supporting trend line and we have this trend line, we have this zone, the yellow zone, we have this zone. So you see, this is a this is a strong zone. So price, when it gets, it will fail to 
to break law because why is a strong zone and also it's on another confirmation which is the trend line support so you can see this is a very strong i don't know i can call it a brick wall because it's three confirmations of support so price is at strong support so when price gets here like you're waiting for what you're waiting for for if it can be a a rejection or if it can be a engulfing but yeah what did we get we got a a double we got a double bottom we got a double bottom we got a double bottom so this is what the confirmation so and check this is a high probability double bottom because what price did it broke out of our resistance trend line came back and retest at our support so this resistant trend line this resistant trend line it tends to a support so now it's supporting price so this is another confirmation so when you see this okay so now i'm building a confirmation okay i want to make an entry so what do i see you don't just make entry you make entry based on what you see it's same when you are going to a shopping mall. You end the, you know, there's they display, like let's say you want to go for clothing. They display those clothes behind the, the window. And whenever you see something that attracts your eyes, you're gonna enter. You don't just enter because they put clothes there. If they see something, it's either you're gonna see a sale when they say, okay, this is on sale, or you see that the price you can afford or you see something you always wanted displaying there so if that's when you're gonna enter even when it comes to market you enter because of what you see you don't just enter because you feel like market is going down you're gonna sell market is going up you're gonna buy so if you make your entry here where you are gonna exit so when we have a let me draw it for you if we have this impulse if we have an impulse and we have a correction. Yeah. Then when we make an entry, when we make an entry of a correction, we target 90%. That's what that's what we call 90%. We say after every correction, market needs to go 90% of the start of the correction. So market needs to come and fill this gap here before it can go down or continue going up. So if you took your entry here, obviously you're gonna target 90% start of correction, which is okay. check where market is reversing. At the beginning of that correction, that's where market started to go down. I'm making sense. I'm making sense, Nico. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm making sense, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So sure, what, we, sure. what, what we're looking for? We're looking for repeatable patterns. We're looking for repeatable patterns. Check again. When my when price moved from here, it moved with an impulse. And we had another correction. So when you see this happening again. What you what you are gonna expect? You're gonna expect a continuation to the upside. And where it was gonna the be your target? Ninety yeah. percent rule. Check where is our target? Ninety percent rule. Check where when price got here, it went way down. So this is something that is repeatable. This is something when okay. price literally got here, it went down. So you you can see like when you make your 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 exit, you do it, you check where if price was moving with a pattern. Remember when we were here, price gave us a, a double bottom. Double bottom, yeah. Okay, check. Let's check again. Do we have a double bottom here? Let me do this. 
if you can see, we have another double bottom. Here's the first. Yeah. Here's the first bottom. And here's the second one. Yeah. So you see, this pattern is the same pattern here. And, and where is this double bottom happening? At our supporting trend line. At our supporting trend line. So whenever you trade, you wait for price to come back to our, our trend line. And when it gets to our trend line, you wait for a double bottom. So when it gives you a double bottom, <coughs> sorry, that's when you make your entry. Because it, it happened first time, it's happening second time. So when we have a, a double bottom, and another confirmation it was that we're in a we're in a correction. And after every correction, we expect a continuation. Continuation, yeah. So here we can say, okay, but this double bottom is inside our our channel. So what do we expect? Maybe we might say, okay, we expect for a price to break out and retest. You know, some some breakouts they become late or some breakout they never happen. But as long as your evidence are solid, you can take your trade. Someone was gonna wait for a price to, to retest. But we, we were not sure if the retest was gonna come back here. If you can see the retest only came until here. And for me, you, you, the other some trades, you're gonna miss them because you're waiting for confirmation. And it's good to miss trade that you planned rather than take trade that you didn't plan. So from here we say, someone say, okay, you see this, the retest is not happening. And you enter here, you say you don't wanna miss. And after you enter, what price is doing? It goes down to blow your account. After it blows your account, it continues going up. You understand? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, man. So let me try to remove this. Let me try. It. Let me try and remove these lines. So let's say we have a support, a resistance here. So we only looked at let's say we have a resistance. Check this resistance is from where? It's from this part here. <clears throat> where one, when price got here, it went down. Second time when price got here, it went down. Third time, even if this one it didn't touch, but when it got here, it went down. It came back, breaking this resistance and turning it into resistance with this correction. It gave this correction. Oh, yeah. So now is a is a what what we call this our resistance turning support. Into support. Yeah. So when price is sure. at support, we are expecting price to to go up. To continue up. Yes. To continue to the upside. So, but when I check here. When I check at this price level here, when I check at this price level, we have a, another pattern which we call a head and shoulder. Whether a head and shoulder, and say a left shoulder here, head, right shoulder. For me, I had a so when it comes here, you can see this is a head and shoulder. So we're gonna expect price to go at least to touch our our support and it can continue to, to go up. But with this one, let's say this one it could have been our first loss, but because the risk to reward was not that much. We could have missed, or if we took this trade, we're gonna lose. Because if you can check, 
if we are going to enter at the break of a neckline, like it was not going to give us enough risk to reward ratio. So that's why I say, make sure when you take a eight, when you take a trade, you're only risking 1% to gain 3%. If it doesn't give you 3%, then don't take that trade. You understand? So with this one, we can say again, we had an impulse correction. Even if this correction didn't come to our trend line. And after that correction, what do we expect? A continuation. Like this is the simple way to look at market. This is the simple way to look at market. So we know in Forex, like everything you see happening two to three times is valid. So how many times do we see this impasse and correction? Here's the first time, second time, and now it's happening again that time. So we can see this pattern, it plays out a lot. So if we saw this, where it was going to be our exit point, remember I said we target 90% of the beginning of our correction. Let's check where is the, okay, here is 100%. But if we say we're targeting 90%, we can come to this level because it's 90%. We're just leaving this 10%. But check. Let's put it exactly at the beginning. Check when price got here, it react. Same here. When price got here, it react. Even from here, when price got here, it react. So whenever price make a correction, it has to come back to feel that correction. So you see this pattern is happening most. But now here we didn't now get there. Here we didn't get a, a double bottom, but where you are gonna make your entry, you okay? If you see, we didn't get On a the right double. shoulder. Here we didn't get a. Remember here we got a, a double bottom, then price went up. Even here we got a double bottom and price went up. So here we don't see that double bottom like this. Uh, We don't see a double bottom. You know, price will do this. Give us a double top and break, or maybe give us a retest and continue going up. So, but we don't see a double bottom here. So here, the chances is that when price broke, when price did break here, we're gonna make our entry at the break of the, but this entry, it was gonna be on a lower time frame because here, if we say it did break, we're gonna wait for a retest, but that retest didn't come. So there were possibility that we're gonna miss entry here, or maybe lost look on one hour. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, on last Zoom session we had, I told the people that we're going to buy NAS NASDAQ and it was around this point. It was here because of this correction. I told them that we are going to buy NASDAQ because it gave us this correction. We had this correction. The time we had that, Zoom session, price was at this correction. I, I told them that we we're gonna buy Nasdaq because of this correction we have here. This is a impulse leap. This was a, a correction and we expect a continuation. And I told them that, okay, Nasdaq will come to this point. But for me, I was expecting Nasdaq to go back here. That's how I had my analysis on our last on our last session. But then that didn't happen. Nasdaq, it went here and it continued going up. So if you can see here, 
we also had what we call a, a bullish flag, a bullish flag. This is an impulse. This is an impulse. So this is was a, a continuation pattern that we're gonna continue going to the upside. So again, this was gonna be your entry because we have a you have a, a correction. You have a correction. Remember, we enter at correction. We don't enter when market is impulsing. And check where's that correction happening. Our support, it tends to our resistance tend to support. Our resistance turn into support. So what do we need? We need a support or resistance. So as support, we buy. At resistance, we sell. And when we are going to target, we are going to target 90%. So if price continue going up, we don't care. As long as we have our, our 3%, we are fine. But for me, I was expecting after this impulse leg, after this impulse leg, will get another correction because this is how it's been moving. Maybe to come back here with this correction and from here, we are gonna continue going up. But check, when it started coming here, it started changing. It started changing how it, it moves. Uh, I just want at least with last five minutes, I will give you to ask some question. When it, it got here, it gave us another reversal pattern. With this. So when we see this, this is opportunity for, for scaling in. This is another continuation pattern because we can see where a, a, a small double bottom. And check again. It gave us another continuation pattern. But I remember yesterday at half past three, I thought we we're gonna sell NASDAQ here because it were at our it was at our resistance. So here yesterday I said we were gonna sell, but it faked me out. Let me show you why I I put I put a sell here because I had a a resistance here. I had a resistance and let me remove this. I had it like this yesterday. Price was just here. Price was here. So the time it broke here and gave a retest, I went for a sell because I saw this as a as a, another reversal pattern at our resistance. So here I remember yesterday. I was looking for a sale. I was looking for a sale before half past three. But then I think I did close early before it went. I closed with 27 rand. Yeah, I did close somewhere here just before half past three because I was the price it was at my resistance and it gave me a, a reversal pattern. And once it broke here, I took an entry. So, okay. Now I'm confirmed that we're gonna go, we're gonna go down, down, down. But then, you know, price is doing what it wants to do. It continues going up. So you can see, like, when we trade, we're looking for repeatable patterns, repeatable patterns. Yeah. Anything you wanna ask concerning everything we discussed? Nico? Yeah, man, yeah, I know. I, everything, everything is clear, man. I could read. Everything is clear. Everything. Yeah, everything. 100%. Yeah. Ah, so, man. Ah, so. And this thing is not just happening on NASDAQ. It's happening... Even on indices, it's happening on currencies, happening on crypto, it's happening on stock. Because 
price is moved by 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 people and people behavior is very predictable so when price is doing it if you can check this is was another invest head and shoulder this is was also a invest head and shoulder right a, a left shoulder a head A right shoulder. So even if we, we saw this as a head and shoulder and we took our entry, still we're still confirmed of buying opportunities. This is the confirmation that okay, I'm gonna buy. Why I'm buying here? Because I see a invest head and shoulder. That's the reason I'm buying. So there's no secret magic when it comes to entry. We, we, we enter trade because of what we see. So here we, we're taking a buy because of what? We see a, a inverse head and shoulder and it's one of reversal pattern that we saw at the beginning when we started on four hour. We saw this pattern and we saw it played out perfect. So now when we see this pattern again, why do we hesitate to take our trade? Even if we take a trade, even if we take a trade, let's say we make an entry here and it gave us a little profit and it went down, stop us out. Okay, we know, but 60% of the time, this pattern is playing out. So when it loses, it will lose maybe 40%, but 60% of the time, this pattern is correct compared to 40% when it's not correct. So if we only risk 1% and we lose 40 times, when we see this pattern, we lose 40 times. But when we go again, there's possibility that 60 times we're gonna, we're gonna win. Yeah. 60 times we're gonna win. Even if we lose 40 times, but 60 times we're gonna do what? We're gonna win with this pattern. And we can see, okay, where they, where they break out here. We can say where they break out. So when you make your entry, where they break out and price was playing here, that's when we took an entry. So when we make entries, we make entries because of what we've seen happening before. We have seen this pattern playing out at the past. So when we see it playing again, we are confirmed it's going to do the same thing it did before. Okay. Ah, so now we left with 